Hello, welcome to Daily News from Ajaya TV. Daily scientific meetings of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in holy city of Qom, Iran. The residence of His Eminence Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi, a respected religious authority, hosted another enlightening scholarly session in the holy city of Qom, attended by numerous scholars, religious figures, and students of Islamic seminaries. This meeting dealt into various topics pertaining to Islamic ethics, Islamic jurisprudence, Islamic history, etc. In today's session, one of the attendees raised this question. Does a child's action affect their parents after their passing? In response to this question, the esteemed authority stated, According to valid sources, a righteous child is considered one of the perpetual good deeds. In this regard, there is no distinction between a son and a daughter. Offspring can increase the rewards of their parents through prayers, and if parents have had a positive influence on their child, the good and charitable deeds performed by the child will also benefit them. The esteemed viewers of Majaya TV can watch these sessions live and directly on this TV network, a collection of other TV channels, and also on the Al Shirazi app and TV boxes, simultaneously with these sessions at 11 a.m. Qom local time. Members of the Shia Societies Association welcome members of Iraqi processions from Holy Najaf. A group of members and officials of the processions in the holy city of Najaf met with the members of the Shia Societies Association affiliated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Karbala. This meeting took place in the holy city of Qom and during this meeting, discussions revolved around matters related to the sacred Husseini rituals and services provided to pilgrims during the Arbain of Imam Hussein peace be upon him on other occasions. Beginning of new school year at Hafizat Seminary in Holy Karbala, Iraq. The Women's Seminary in Karbala, specializing in the memorization of the Holy Quran, announced the commencement of the new academic school year 1445. According to the institution's authorities, the teachers and students of this seminary began their academic activities from the second half of the month of Rabiul Awal of this year. The first day of the academic year was marked by the presence of Sheikh Nasser Asadi, a member of the office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, who encouraged them to pursue knowledge and self-development seriously. Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi sacrifices sheep in Mazar Sharif, Afghanistan. The esteemed office of Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi in the city of Mazar Sharif, Afghanistan, continued its charitable activities by sacrificing several sheep. This act was performed with the intention of praying for the well being and hastening of the reappearance of Imam al Mahdi. May Allah hasten his reappearance, and the meat obtained from this sacrifice was distributed to dozens of orphaned and needy families in the city of Mazar Sharif. This was the 28th phase of the meat distribution project by this office to those in need. Director of Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center hosts visitors in Baghdad, Iraq. Ali Asarai, the director of the Ahlul Bayt Islamic Thought Center in Baghdad, Iraq, hosted various religious, social, cultural, and tribal figures. During these meetings, discussions revolved around various social and religious topics, particularly issues concerning youth. Advisor to Iraqi Prime Minister attends weekly meeting at Mesbah al Hussein Foundation. The Mesbah al Hussein Foundation in Karbala held one of its weekly meetings to discuss the Vision 2030 Arbain project with a goal of accommodating 50 million pilgrims. This session, which focused on the transportation issues, was chaired by Sheikh Mustafa Mohammadi, the head of Mesbah al Hussein Foundation. Nasser Saleh al Asadi, the advisor to the Iraqi Prime Minister on Transportation Affairs, attended and discussed transportation related matters and measures necessary to ensure the well being of the Iraqi public and the guests, particularly the pilgrims of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. Mr. al Asadi also expressed his personal and administrative readiness to cooperate with Mesmail Hussein Foundation on such strategic projects. Rasul Adam Institute commemorates martyrdom of Lady Fatima, peace be upon her, in Holy Kazimain, Iraq. Rasul Adam Institute in the holy city of Kazimia mourned the days of the martyrdom of Lady Fatima Zahra and Hazrat Fatima Masuma, peace be upon them. This ceremony took place on the 7th of Rabi Uthani in the current year and was attended by numerous Shia believers and followers of the infallible household of the Prophet of Islam. During this event, mourners commemorated the tragedy of Fatima Zahra and Hazrat Fatima Masuma with the recitation of elegies by the eulogist Sayyir al-Kadami. 
Anhul Bey Servants Procession holds Fatimi ceremonies in Holy Kabbalah, Iraq. The Anhul Bey Servants Procession, an institution affiliated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Kabbalah, has witnessed the presence of Shia believers in their morning ceremonies during the days of Fatimiyah. These ceremonies, commemorating the martyrdom of Lady Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, are held in the homes of the faithful. In addition to the general Shia public, several religious, cultural, and social figures, including the representatives of the Grand Jurist, participated in these events.